there is a lot of snow on the ground but it comes and goes one day it's 10 degrees and the next day it's 40 degrees so you never really know what the temperature is going to be but everything is looking really really good and I wanted to just give you a little bit of an update on my giant moss tufa. Now there it is. Snow out there on those and of course snow in the grass. But it's melted what covered over here. But you can see the moss even in the cold cold weather is doing fine. Now some of the moss in the rear portion of the bed step over here has turned brown and I'm not real sure what occurred there it is the same type of moss like right here and don't still yet know what those little plants are but here in the back you can see it's turned brown and there's some of my little crocuses and daffodils coming up. I can't remember which was on which side, but I got a lot of them coming up. But back here, and this is not at an overhang. And the way the sun hits it and the weather hits it, I don't really know the reason why. But, overall, I really like the way it's turning out. Oh, there's an icicle fell from the roof. I do need to figure out what those little things are. I'm not sure what that type of little plant is. Once I thought I had it, now that's a tiny little bit of bittercress growing in there, but I'm talking about these plants, whatever that is. I like to figure out the name of it. And then I know these should be popping out little spores soon, but I don't know what happened to these in the backside. Now we are on an overhang but the moisture comes in from this side so I don't know why it would deteriorate like that but I'll work on an update as they go on I can't wait till the little crocuses come up I've got Quite a few. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six right now that I can just pick up. Nothing on this side. I can't remember which I put on what side. Pretty sure it was cro crocuses on that side because they would be the ones coming up first, I think. But that's my giant moss hypertufa.